Hello Internet, Secretplot45 here, and this is a new commentary detailing the new and upcoming patches in Destiny. Links to Bungie's official post will be down in the description, but without further ado, let's just jump right in. The first main thing we're getting fixed is the Cryptarch, and um, these are the main fixes that are going to happen. Legendary Ingrams will always produce legendary or better quality items, including materials or exotics. Rare Ingrams will always produce rare or better quality items. Rare Ingrams will now have an increased chance to produce legendary quality items. Items on uh, daily heroics, weekly heroics, and the Vanguard Tyler Tiger playlist will include rare and legendary engrams in addition to their existing rewards. Legendary engram items that exist in your inventory, however, will be demoted to rare quality when the patch goes live. So decode them while you can. And uh, this is a quote from Bungie's site. But let's be honest, even if you don't, we all know they were blues already. So basically. Um, it's fixing a lot of the problems people have had with the loot system. I know I've been really frustrated with it. I've gotten like seven or so legendary engrams at this point, and I've only gotten, I think, two actual legendaries um, from them, and it's really frustrating. So I'm glad to know that I'm I'm going to be getting better loot soon. Also, uh, speaking on the the note of legendaries, um, the treasure cave, the infamous treasure cave that got really popular a couple of days ago, is now fixed. However, Farming itself isn't dead. Um, they fixed this. Uh, the the treasure cave should be fixed already. Um, but I have tested out some other farming methods and they work. So I will have a method tutorial up that I will be uploading soon. So keep an eye out for that. Um, there are some other there are some other tweaks such as balancing issues. Um, exotic weapons. Um, the post mentions thorn and bad juju specifically feel underpowered and they'll be tweaked accordingly. So I think they'll be make them slightly more powerful. But like they said, they don't want to make them game breaking. So it'll be interesting to see how they'll fix them. But they will be fixed. And also, auto rifles will get adjustments to stability and damage, and scout rifles will be buffed. Um, I really, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with these, even though I'm, I'm an avid auto rifle user, um, part of the reason I am is because, uh, honestly, I, I really don't see any reason to use a scout or pulse rifle when, you know, my auto rifle is, does the same amount of damage and it's, like, you know, seems just as effective, but, um, you know, I don't know, hopefully they'll, uh, they'll be able to balance them a little bit more. Um, I do think scout rifles really do need a, need a buff pretty bad. I was trying to use one earlier just to get um, one of the Queen's bounties, and it's uh, it, it's definitely doable, but it's not... I, I do think they are underpowered, and I do think they need to be worked on. So, um, hopefully I'll be able to get more into scout rifles once they buff them a little bit. Also, shotguns will take a range nerf, thank god. Um, this was the main issue I had with the multiplayer. Shotguns are way overpowered. Um, I feel bad using them, but at the same time, there's really nothing in the secondary, in my opinion, that really compares unless you're like on the moon and there's like a a sniping post sorry if you can hear that car in the background by the way um but uh, there are also some other minor tweaks such as voice communication is now online so if you get into like a strike i think i think even like um uh, a crucible playlist you will be able to talk to your teammates and they will be able to talk to you which is nice um apparently this is interesting it mentions strike balancing apparently there's been a bug that increases the damage given Two players, so the monsters deal more damage than they were supposed to, and also the boss does. Um, uh, it doesn't have more health, but um, the damage you do to the boss was apparently like decreased in like a freak nerf uh, bug or whatever. So that will be tweaked. So it means that strikes will be slightly easier. Um, so I guess that's nice. Um, I definitely like. I've gotten to level, I'm level 25 right now, and I've gotten to a level where, like, the strikes um, around my level don't really feel hard, they just feel time-consuming, like, it's not really super hard to get through them, it just takes a while, and, um, I, I feel like decreasing the time spent on them will make them a little bit more enjoyable, so, I'm just, I'm really excited for these patches, it seems like busting, uh, bleh, what did I even say? It seems like Bungie really is listening to us, and that they are trying to you know, give their get their feedback and, you know, create better content for the game. So it's really reassuring that uh, they do indeed listen to us and they're trying to make their game better instead of, like, just taking all our money. Um, and it seems that all these changes that they're making really are actually needed, and I'm just, I'm happy they're implemented. So, what do you guys think? Um, are you happy about these changes? Do you disagree with any of the nerfs or buffs? Uh, have you had any weird cryptarch stories? Uh, I don't know. Let me know. And as always, uh, keep it here for more Destiny content. I will see you guys soon. Peace.